Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make these colorful whirlpool earrings. Maybe you will say it's early for the Christmas colors, but I don't think so. I started to use them. These earrings are a match to this uh, whirlpool stitch or spiral stitch, call it whatever you like. And I have tutorials for a bracelet and for an earring and I will link to them here at the eye icon. Here the only difference is that I start with less beads in the middle and I use only two colors and this time I decided to use more colors and to start with more beads in the center. Here I start with 12 beads and here with 16 beads and it still works li really cool. Okay, so if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and never to miss a tutorial uh, and uh, you will be able to make beautiful sets if you do that. And if you want to support me, it's a good idea also to like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this section. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. I forgot to tell you that you could, uh, if you don't have crystals, you could skip them and make those earrings only like that without the crystals. I'm showing how in the tutorial. If you want to see the full list of materials, check the description and there I give Amazon links where you could buy supplies from. I have links to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching guys. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are four colors of 11 on seed beads. Here I use ear wires. These are liver bags, but you could use any type of ear wires you like. These are teardrop crystals, uh, but don't worry if you don't have them, you could skip them and make your work without, uh, without this part, only this here. And, um, uh, if you want to order, I have some links in description to Amazon where you could find them. And this is uh, Nemo beading thread, which is nylon thread. And this is size D, which is 1.2 millimeters uh, thick and size 10 beading needle, scissors. And you could also use pliers, but they are not obligatory. Only if you want to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to start by picking up uh, 16 beads and I will take four times these four colors, okay, which means a black, a gold, a red and a green once, a black, a gold, a red and a green twice and I'm going to repeat this two more times. Okay guys, and now I have four times four. You see, four times four, and these are exactly 16 beads, okay? And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat, and here what I wanna do is make a knot. And I will make my knot by making here a loop. I'm going once with my tail thread and then second time through this loop I've made and when I pull, I pull really slowly because I want my thread to be between those two beads where I started it from. Okay, and not to move around. Then I'm going to make one more knot, again pulling slowly. And now guys, this is what I have and what I want to do is exit out of a green bead. In fact, you could use, uh, you could exit out of any bead you like, but now I, I will start from a green bead and uh, what I need to take here are two greens and one black bead. So I'm taking two beads of the color that I'm exiting out of 
and one bead of my next color which is black and then I'm going through my third color which in this case is golden it doesn't matter where you start from just here I'm starting from the green okay now you do the same thing take two beads of the color that you're exiting out of and one bead of the following color which is red and then go through the third color which in this case is green okay you could call them color a b c d okay so when i'm exiting of color a i'm taking two of color a and one of color b and i'm going through color c Then, as I'm exiting from my color C, I'm taking two of my color C and one of my color D. And it comes my color A. The first of my sequence. Okay. Now again, two greens, one black, and go through the golden. then two goldens one red and go through the green okay two greens one black go through the golden Okay, and these are my final three beads. And now you pay attention. You should go through this green one. Okay. And now I have the first row of my spiral ready. Okay, now I, what I want to do is go through these two green beads in this direction. Then I will go through the black one here. My goal is to exit out of the black one. Okay. And now I'm going to take two black beads. Okay. And go through the golden. Okay. In this way I'm continuing my spiral in my next row. Then I go through the red. And take two red beads. And go through the green and pull. Then go through the black again. Take two blacks. Go through the golden. Then go through the red. And take two red beads and also go through the green one okay like this then go through the black one and take two black beads okay and go through the golden so I'm adding I'm skipping one of my rows in this case I'm skipping the golden and the green and I'm adding additional beads to the red and through the black one. Okay. Okay. And you could do this in one movement to exit straight from the black. Okay, and this rose, guys, now is ready. So what I want to do is step up in my next row. And this time 
I will add beads to my golden and my green uh, rose, I mean spirals, okay? Now exiting out of the golden, this time I will add three beads. In my last row I was adding two beads and now I'm going to add three and go through the red and through the following green, if you can do this in one movement. Then take four green beads, like this. Go through the black and through the golden in one movement to save time. Then take three goldens and go through the following two that are on your way. Okay, three greens. Three goldens, and I'm going to continue this work until the end of this row. Okay guys, and it comes the next row where I will fill the red and the black rows, okay? And I will go through these three red beads. And in my last row I was adding four be uh, three beads and now I'm going to add four. Okay, I have four beads. And I will repeat the same thing. I'm going through the last green and I want to exit through the next black one. Okay, four beads. This will be my last row and here I'm going to add only four beads of the black and the red colors. It's absolutely the same, just the beads are with one more. Okay guys, and now my spiral is ready, but I want to do an additional step. I want to reinforce my work at the edges. I will go one more time through all of my beads in circle. Okay. I will go one more time in circle and I will meet you back here to tell you how to finish your earring. Okay guys, and now as I'm reinforcing, I'm here where I want to attach my ear wire, okay? I'm taking my ear wire and I want to take one black bead, my liver back and one more black bead. This is what I take here and I'm going back in circle through this bead. Okay, like that. And I'm going to reinforce it. Okay, and reinforce it as many times as you can. And now what I want to do, of course you could make a knot and finish your earring just like this, it's enough. But what I want to do is add a crystal to it and that is why 
I will go through all of those bits in this direction and I will exit here where I will add my crystal. Okay guys, and now I'm here, I'm exiting out of this black bead. And what I want to do is take three seed beads. And I'm going to take my crystal. Go through it. Slide it down. Like this. Then take three more seed beads. Okay. Slide those down as well then skip them don't go through them but go through the crystal and through the first two black beads okay you see where i'm exiting i added three beads and i'm going only through the first two beads okay i will take one more black bead and i will go back in circle through this black one Okay. and I have my crystal attached by the way you could go and reinforce one more time this work here but I prefer to leave it like this because I want it to dangle okay and I will go in this direction and now here guys what I want to do is make a knot Cut my thread and my earring will be ready. Okay, and I'm choosing a place where to make a knot. I make a loop. I go once, then I go second time through this loop I've made. And I pull. Then I go through my following seed bead. And here I cut my thread. Remember, always go through the following seed bead before you cut your thread. Never cut next to a knot, okay? And now, guys, I have this. My earring is ready. Okay, guys, and now my Whirlpool colorful earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also help me by liking, sharing and commenting and you don't know how much of a support only this is. Uh, and you don't know how much of a support this is. So. You could check the description where you could find Amazon links to buy supplies from links to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.